I want to take you is to shift just from thinking about customer experience into employee experience. And own that as leaders. It can't, the idea of employee experience cannot just be a conversation that happens in HR circles or people that are heading up talent and people. Experience has to be owned by leaders. Because the experiences that we're looking for in our, in our, our personal lives are influencing our professional lives. Two things have happened that influence us as leaders in the last 18 years. Number one, our appetite and our willingness to pay a premium for a better experience has only continued to elevate. But you think about what you're willing to pay a premium for today for a better experience. Give me an example. What's something you'll pay a premium for for a better experience? Daycare, great example. What else? A flight, better seat, upgrade. How about um, the, the, the reclining seat movie theater where they bring you the cocktails? Are you with me on this? I think this is one of the greatest inventions in the history of the world. Sign me up for this. If you haven't been, you haven't lived, right? Even though the chicken fingers are terrible, but just like the thought in the chair, right? I gladly paid 3x the ticket price. Our appetite has increased. But the other thing that's happened that directs us, impacts us as leaders as it relates to hierarchy and network over the last 20 years. You think back, it wasn't that long ago Hierarchy sort of represents historical work. Work was a physical place that we could go to and work. And when you left, you left work. And now you're in your personal life. And today, the lines between work and life, where are they? They even exist? The whole idea of work-life balance assumes that they're two separate things. It's all one. For most of us, what's the very first thing you do in the morning when you wake up? You roll over and what do you do? You turn the alarm off on your phone, and what's the very next button you hit? All right, let's not lie to each other. Remember, truth-telling culture, Facebook, Instagram, then email, right? <laughs> let's not lie. But still, it's like 5.30. I'm already plugged in. I haven't even left the bed yet. I'm already working. What's the last thing we do before we go to bed at night? Check in one more time, right? One more time. And just out of curiosity, I don't know if this exists in this culture, but a lot of our clients, they get caught up in playing the who can send the latest email game. Are you familiar with this game? And it's like it's 945, all of a sudden, like Terry sends an email, you're like, damn, Terry, working late. What do you do? It's like 1130 before you go to bed, you're like, boom, send one out right on top of her. Right? I have some clients, they are so sick. They set the auto delay responder to go out at like 3 a.m. So it looks, right, 3 a.m. pinging. And when we do that, what are we saying to the world? I'm still hustling. I'm still grinding. I heard somebody say, I'm better. <laughs> I'm better. Maybe. It's all one thing. And so here's the point from an experience standpoint. Our life Work, personal, professional, it's all one thing, which means if your work experience sucks, your life sucks. You cannot separate. And so how we shape and articulate as leaders the experience people have has never mattered more. 